Hey, what's up, YouTube? It's Dawson. Today, we're going to be talking about AA to Finance, peer-to-peer -peer lending protocol on Cardano that I think is going to bring a lot of value to the DeFi space. Um, a lot of Ethereum projects have this, so I think it's a good direction for us to go, a good thing for us to talk about on this channel and bring light to, okay? As always, just want to kind of start about like the overall crypto market, Bitcoin trying to break 21K right now. Um, I think November is going to be a big month for us to figure out if Bitcoin's put a bottom in or not. I... I don't know. It's kind of confusing. Like last week, everyone was bearish. This week, everyone's bullish. It's just really hard to tell what direction overall we're going. I know we broke upwards out of the descending triangle that Bitcoin was making. So that's technically bullish. But there's other indicators and other TA that we're trying to break to get out of all the bearish TA. So I think November is going to be a big month. I would sit back and watch. Um, I mean, you can still DCA and stuff like I do whatever you do normally, whatever you want to do. but I would say November is going to be a good month to keep an eye on the market, just see what's happening. Are we going to go lower or are we going to go higher? Or is this like a new accumulation zone at 21, 22,000? I'm not sure, but let's see. As always, if you're new to the channel, my name is Dawson. We like to have a lot of fun on this channel, do a lot of you know crypto analysis, project analysis, price analysis, everything that we can. I primarily focus on Cardano, but I'm open to other ecosystems as well, like Ethereum, etc. As always, we do like to have a lot of fun on this channel, but everything I say is not financial advice. It's just my own opinion, my own research. You're welcome to disagree or agree. Please leave a comment if you disagree and we can kind of talk about it, right? So if... Uh, you know, you need to treat crypto as your own bank, your own hedge fund, your own assessment. Only take risks that you're willing to lose and only use money you're willing to lose, okay? Let's just have a good time. And hopefully in a couple of years, we all come out a little bit better, right? So let's jump right into today's topic of AA to Finance, the decentralized peer-to-peer -peer lending protocol on Cardano. So AA to Finance has uh, what they call lenders and borrowers. If you're a borrower, that means you want to put up a collateral plus interest to get money from someone else. And if you're a lender, that means you're willing to fill people's loans and give them the money that they're asking for in exchange for that collateral and interest on the loan itself. Being that this platform is decentralized, it means that nobody on AIDA's team is taking care of like your smart contract for you. It's just between you, the lender, and the borrower in a smart contract in between. Peer-to-peer -peer is really like the purest form of cryptocurrency um, loan-based transactions. Peer-to-peer -peer loans are just the simplest thing that you can do on this platform as well. Um, AADA goes in depth on their medium about how you can do short and long positions or do like NFT hedging um, with funds that you don't have playing with leverage using their protocol. So for example, if you want to take a short position on Let's say you think MELD is going to go down. What you could do is you could say, put in a loan, and I'm just going to make numbers up. These numbers aren't right, but you could put up a collateral of 1,000 ADA and say that you want 100,000 MELD, right? In exchange, so you put up the 1,000 ADA and some interest and somebody, a lender gives you 100,000 MELD. Then what you could do is take that 100,000 MELD, trade it to a stable coin in Cardano, let MELD fall in price, trade that stable coin back to MELD. Now you have more MELD than when you started and then go repay your loan. And then you have the extra ADA or the extra MELD that is left over. Okay, so that's how you do a short position. The same thing works for a long position, uh, just the opposite way. A, it also has an article about NFT flipping actually. And so they have an example of like, let's say you want to take out a loan for like 5,000 ADA, but you only have 1,000 ADA. So you put that 1,000 ADA up as collateral then uh, plus interest, somebody gives you 5,000 ADA, then you go buy NFTs at a floor price that you think they're going to sell for higher. Then when those NFTs go higher, you sell them and you repay the ADA loan and you have the leftover ADA that you earned from the difference. That's how you could do NFT flipping with a platform like this on Cardano. So this is just like some of the exciting things that I think are awesome to look out for. They're a little complicated to think about, but as Cardano grows, as DeFi grows on Cardano, these are a lot of the opportunities that people who like to trade, day trade, mar like be like market makers or like, um, you know, try arbitrage. These are all the things that become available when DeFi platforms get up and running, which, you know, now that we have Alonzo and we have Vasil, we have the ability for these things to kind of come online in the next bull market. I personally never would have thought like a peer to peer loan is something I would ever want to do, but I don't really want to sell my ADA. So it might be something that I want to test out just to try in the bear market before it gets like too crazy. So I could do like a small loan, maybe I've been thinking about testing or filling somebody's loan a small amount. But um, 
essentially like when you go to create a loan, you put in, I want this much. And then they, the, the AA to platform like recommends a collateral and an interest rate to have a healthy loan factor. But ultimately it's up to you to put in whatever you want. And then based on this information, um, they fill out like, they give you like a health score of your loan so that lenders can see like what loans are healthy, what loans are like kind of skeptical. And then based on that, you can decide if a loan's good for you, right? Doing my research on the product, it also looks like they have four compatible wallets. Um, it looks like it was NAMI, Eternal, Flint, and Jiro wallets. So uh, basically like hot, uh, hot wallets that are browser-based light wallets. Um, but they do have those four options. No Uroi, no Daedalus, which I was surprised, but they don't, their choice. And uh, I think that's okay. So some good things that I really love about this product is that one, it's something that I kind of am interested in. I'm interested in being able to do more financial transactions with the blockchain that I think Cardano is lacking in, right? I think it's a great direction, a great way for Cardano to model success after Ethereum success, right? In the DeFi finance lending staking spaces. So I think these are, this is a good project and a good direction for Cardano to be going. I also think as far as like the value of the blockchain, the biggest places of value are these financial applications. So the more of them that Cardano can onboard, that means the more TVL Cardano is going to have, which is going to mean, which is going to mean a bigger chain, more users, more wallets, overall healthier chain, which is going to bring more projects in, which is going to bring more people in, right? So I think DeFi projects like this are the way to go. They're some of the first thing Cardano needs to onboard before Metaverse, before Play to Earn, before all these things. We just need the financial projects, the Aves, the liquids, right? The, 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 the one inches, right? This is what Cardano needs to onboard and push for the first thing coming in 2024, 2025 bull market. So that's just kind of like quick product overview. I think we hit the unique selling point, which is their peer-to-peer -peer lending. I think that that unique selling point is definitely, definitely, definitely needed between 2023 and 2025 for the next wave of Cardano projects. This is going to be a key. For me, it's a key. Um, things I think that are really important are like stable coins, lending, and DeFi. And this is two of those. Okay. So I think that's a great thing. Um, and I think it's a good direction to go. The third thing would be the tokenomics. Uh, I have it right here. The tokenomics, I'm going to use some rounded numbers, just like get it as close as I could remember, but tokenomics, they're about a seven out of uh, 7.5 out of 10, I'd say they're good, good tokenomics. Um, it looks like 8.6% to private sale, 17 to 18% to the public sale and distribution, 34% to staking, 10% to the team, 14 to 15% for marketing advisors and partners, and then 3% to token liquidity. I would personally say that this is a good tokenomics distribution. Um, there's not really much I'd say I would change either. You know, I like to see private sales below 20%. And I like to see public sale distribution and staking, kind of like that whole ISPO liquidity combination. I like to see it above 50%. So with this combination, I definitely think we're at like 51 to 3% somewhere around there, which is good for me. The fourth thing that we look for on this channel is communication and community. Um, AADA Finance is really a smaller community so far. I think it's because you know, after Alonzo, uh, we never really had a huge chance in the bull market to have a DeFi like revolution go happen. But uh, I think it's just peer to peer lending people who are ready to do that are just a smaller group of the, of the average crypto user. So I think it's okay that they have a smaller community on most of their socials. But you know, they are act active on Twitter and they have a Reddit and stuff like that. As far as the communication from the company, lots of good info on their website about how to use the protocol, what the documentation says. How, like how their oracles work behind the scenes, how like you can do um, lending, how you can do borrowing, how you can do uh, shorting, longing, and NFT things. They have a lot of great resources about how it all works, which I really appreciate because as I was researching this, a lot of that stuff was foreign to me. Like I've never done a peer to a P two P transaction. I've never longed or short or leveraged anything. You know, it's scary stuff. It's foreign stuff. So I appreciate the communication from the team, and you know, it's going to help onboard more users in a better manner and let people have like those opportunities in DeFi to either arbitrage or short things or long things or, you know, stable coin swap and all that. Right. So it's good. Good communication. Good community. I'd say that they're on point on those. They will get better as the bull market comes around and more people come into the community and come into DeFi on Cardano, but so far right now, I'd say it's all looking good.
so kind of like the fifth thing we usually talk about is like how do you feel about it personally i think it's cool i think peer-to-peer is cool it's something i'm really skeptical about but i would like to test it out and try it i feel like most people in crypto would like to test it out and try it we'd like to try shorting something we'd like to try longing something or leveraging something or like lending out money and getting interest it's interesting stuff and i think people will use a platform like this just because they want to try it i know i do right let's talk about now the risks associated with this project a to finance on their website noted three risks that i think we should take a second and talk about because they are important and me as a non-technical user if they didn't really mention it it'd be hard for me to figure it out for myself unless that happened to me so risk one was a fail of liquidation so this is, um, if I remember right, this happens when uh, one of the three oracles that run kind of like the lending borrowing protocol fail to liquidate a, a loan in time. So if one of the three fail, that means you as a lender, when you're trying to liquidate a protocol, um, could lose more money as you wait for that third oracle to pick it up or have to re-liquidate it again. The second way is a data mismatch. So the oracles have the chance to choose from different pools where they get the price of an asset. So if they mismatch the price and don't like pick the right pool or something along those lines, then you could have like a different price than what you expect to be in your collateral or in your loan. So you could have like a price arbitrage situation where the different pools have different prices. Um, and I'm not sure how they mitigate that. Um, I'm just not technical enough to know that, but that is one of the risks that they noted. The third risk is the hijacking of Oracle keys. So somebody hijacks the Oracle keys, they can essentially um, make their own loans and liquidations, or they can change what the Oracles put out. So that's just a whole different issue, whereas Oracle data is not the data that you want it to be, right? So there's three risks, um, pretty notable risks. I think that most lending DeFi protocols have these risks, and AA to, AA to finance is going to do their best to you know, secure the project and Cardano is doing its best to secure the L1 network. But these are just three things to keep in mind if you're going to try this protocol and try these different things. Um, I'd be more worried about the risk as more people are onboarded in the bull market. Right now in the bear market, I would imagine it's probably less of a chance of risk. So now let's get to the good stuff, what everybody wants to know about, kind of like what I think, price prediction, price analysis, and am I going to be buying or not? Let's talk about it. Before we get into the price prediction, I would really appreciate if you could hit the like and subscribe button, all the likes, all the subscriptions really help me to know that I'm doing a good job picking the right projects, doing good reviews, and hopefully providing some good value to everyone out there in the Cardano community and other communities as we expand. So currently, AA to Finance is trading at about 45 cents with a 13 million fully diluted market cap. Now, I was looking at some Ethereum competitors of a project like this. I was looking at one inch auger compound um there was one other one but those types of projects and i was i was noticing that one their total value locked was anywhere from uh auger was kind of on the low end that one million total value locked but all the other ones had about a hundred million to a billion total value locked now their market caps fully diluted during this bear market were sitting between 100 million and one billion dollars fully diluted in this bear market my kind of analysis thinks that whatever these Ethereum projects are during the bear market is where the Cardano equivalent could be during the next bull market. Now, it could always go better. It could always go worse. But I think that's a good kind of just rule of thumb to be, especially, you know, as like bull market Ethereum is bear market Bitcoin as far as market cap. I like to think about it the same way with Ethereum and Cardano. These Ethereum projects during the, the, the bear market is where Cardano projects could be during the bull market. So it looks like the top like five to 10 of these projects that are in kind of this lending borrowing space on Ethereum, they're kind of sitting between 100 million and a billion fully diluted market cap. This makes me think, you know, it's probably pretty possible for something like an AA to finance if it actually gets adoption and actually has, you know, like TVL locked in it, um, which they're trying to expand more on the protocol to provide more services. But I think it shouldn't be unreasonable for a project like this to have 100 million to 500 million fully diluted market cap in a bull run. If that comes true in 2024, 2025, um, which I think comes down mostly to how much TVL it can have within the protocol, you would be looking at on the low end a $5 price for the AA to coin. So anywhere from $5 to $15 between that 100 million market cap and 500 million market cap range. 
now let's say the best thing ever happens and A to finance does a hundred X from the current 13 million fully diluted market cap and it ends up at 1.3 billion, the token would now be worth about 40 to $50. So I think there definitely is a 10 X plus maybe a 10 to 50 X within this protocol between hundred million and 500 million market cap at five to $15. I think that would be a very reasonable thing to hit in the next bull market. But if the things go just beyond great, you could definitely see it, you know, at a 40 plus dollar dollar valuation per AADA coin. Be curious to know what you think. Do you think that's even reasonable? Um, I think definitely the four to five to $15 range is going to be reasonable and something I'll look out for. So now, am I going to be buying this project or no? I do think this is a great project to buy. I think this is a great project to get a, get a small bag of to test the waters with. I definitely want to be testing this as a lender and a borrower with just like some small like 5 a transaction or something like that. Some small lending just to see how it works. Just test out just to use crypto for crypto abilities. Um, I don't think it's going to be my biggest Cardano native asset bag. Ardana is still probably my biggest Cardano native asset bag. But I do think AADA could deserve some DCA as I finish my goal for Ardana. So eventually, you know, the way I invest is I set a goal for each project, like a dollar amount. And then once I hit that, I would move on to another project to diversify within Cardano, or I could do like an ETH, like an L2 to diversify against Cardano. Um, so I don't think I'm going to invest in the project right now, but maybe in a month or two when I'm done investing in Ardana, I can switch over to an AA to finance or like a meld. But I think this would be a solid buy if you like DeFi, if you like peer-to-peer -peer lending, if you like those aspects of, of Cardano. I definitely think you'll have a 10x in the next bull market. 100x is probably like not too far stretch if the project can get the TVL up. The more TVL, the more users, the more adoption, the more money. That's the key. So I'm going to kind of wrap this video up right there. Um, I think this project is very promising. I like what it has to offer. I like the direction that it's taking Cardano down the DeFi road. It's something I'm going to be watching. I'll probably pick up a small bag just to try and use the protocol at least. Um, and I definitely want to use the protocol. But I mean, what do you think about it? Leave it in the comments. Is, is AA to finance in the right direction or am I completely off, right? Let me know a coin that you want me to look at. If you have any questions about any other coins, whether it be like, uh, Nami wallet, Jera wallet, Flint wallet, whether you want to see um, reviews on like MinSwap, Sunday Swap, all that, let me know in the comments what project you want to see. If you want to see a project, if you have any questions about AA, AA to finance, put it in the comments. I'll answer them as best I can. Um, besides that, hope you like the price prediction. Hope I brought you some value. Please like, subscribe. Have a great day. Have a great week coming up this week. And uh, God bless.